What is humanism? That's a great question. There is no one single answer. But if I had to answer you, I'd say it's this. It's a twist on the golden rule. Uh, and that twist is that you should treat others how they wish to be treated. The golden rule says you should treat others how you wish to be treated. But I think it's different when you're giving medicine. You really want to treat someone how they would like to be treated. It's really remembering that underneath the person in front of you with their complaint or with their problem, and underneath you with your problems and your complaints, you still have to find some common ground to help each other. And your job is to try and be a problem solver for that person. The most important thing about humanism is, you know, focusing on being empathetic and just acknowledging the emotions that we as humans have and being able to relate to one another in an effective manner. When I think about humanism in medicine, I think about the patients that I had the privilege of connecting with that I might not have because of the different paths we walk in life. Um, so it, it might be um, at a patient's funeral um, where I'm able to connect with the family um, and have that one moment where we we all sort of realize that we're in this together. We're all human beings. I think it's most humanizing to remember that we get sick, we have problems, our parents get sick, our kids get sick, our loved ones get sick. And you have to remember, people need just a little bit more touch, a little bit more humanity in the medicine. It's not just the science. I think, you know, we all went to school um, because we were fascinated with the science and pathology behind different disease processes. However, there's an element of relationship that we have with our patients that we have to nurture and that we have to continue to respect and refine. Nobody wants to, to be a number, um, to, to just be a, a collection of, of signs and symptoms. So I, I think it's a human need to, to have that connection um, and to feel that, that we matter to each other. It's hard to tell someone how to be humanistic in day-to-day -day practice. It's better to model the behavior. It's better for, better for people to see how to, to have the behavior. The most important thing I think a student can do is just be aware, have what's called mindfulness. If they see something that isn't right, they need to ask themselves, okay, why isn't it right? Are these bad people or is it just a bad situation? And what would I do if I was in this situation? Uh, appropriate touch, eye contact, paying attention, give the, giving the patient um, your full attention and not checking your messages. And, um, we really struggle with that with the electronic medical record now. It's walking into a room and smiling at a child, asking you know a teenager what they're actually interested in, looking at the whole person and not just their particular disease process. It's realizing that you need to reach out to the human being in front of you. You're not always given time to do it, but sometimes that little extra step that you take for that human being, for that person in front of you, goes the distance. The end goal would be that in our profession, uh, or among providers, whether medical assistants, nurses, other clinicians, um, that there's consistent professionalism uh, and regard for human dignity, respect, uh, and, and value. You take it one patient at a time, um, and I think you know on that micro level when you are so satisfied and you feel so rewarded by their interactions you have with that patient or family. I don't think that there's a, a metric other than what people give back to you and what, you, what they say to you. But there's a moment in, in the ambulatory practice in which you've made a relationship, built a relationship with the patient, and now you have to say goodbye. And at this moment, what, you, what, what residents are often caught off guard with is, is how much their patients really are going to miss them and, and what they express at that moment when they realize they're going to lose their doctor. Um, residents are taken aback by that because they weren't expecting it. And, and I tell them that's how you know you got it right. There is something about it, even if, you know, the ultimate outcome clinically is not a good one, the fact that you were able to share in this experience with the family and help them through a particular process and they were able to come back and say thank you, I think that is the end goal. Humanism is a process. It is not something you're magically the best doctor ever, you're magically the most humanistic person. But I would say be realistic about it and realize that you can come in with the best intentions of healing and then you're going to walk out with the constraints of time, science, and uh, the limitations of medical practice. And you have to find the time to balance it. You need to be at your best 
um, because the people that you're interacting with daily um, are suffering. So figuring out how you can decompress, um, remembering um, what you like to do before you went to med school. I think if you hold on to all those things that makes medicine so special, um, you will always try and, and be patient-centered. You know, it can be exhausting, the hours are long, but what we do is a privilege. Your most important tool is, is your therapeutic bond with the patient. And so you need to recognize that um, you develop that relationship not just the times you're with people, but all the times in between where you can be counted on to be there for that patient. Being patient, um, very, very important. Try and be patient with your fellow physicians and doctors along the way, students, residents. Not everyone is as perfect as you are, and it's hard to realize that. What I might think is um, the purest form of humanism or altruism might not be the same for someone else. I think the opposite of humanism is disregard um, or um, indifference. Uh, and, and I think that that is negative. It, it's not, um, you can't just prescribe medicine and be indifferent uh, to the person who's before you. He said if you go to the grocery store and your pager goes off when you want to be grocery shopping and you have to be a physician, how you feel about that moment will probably define much of your career. Are you annoyed? Are you mad that they're still bothering you? Or are you accepting that this is the role you chose? The most important thing about humanism as it relates to medicine is being patient-centered. Without that element, um, it's, it's hard to be, you know, show humanism as it relates to patient care. The hardest part in medicine is making time for yourself. And a lot of doctors don't get that. Um, if you don't take care of yourself, you get sick, you get all sorts of other stuff, you don't cut your hair, you don't spend time with your loved ones. You're no good to anyone if you haven't taken the time to actually um, be with your loved ones and appreciate being a human yourself. Being a physician is an incredible privilege. I'm, I'm so grateful and humbled uh, to be able to be a part of patients' lives. And you can't go home every night feeling everything a person feels, like an empath, it's, you, you, you get torn up, but you need to respect it. Sometimes you got to let yourself go there. That's, that's what I, and when I'm walking into a room, walking to an encounter, I try to think, you know, in my best moments, I try to think, okay, what is this person feeling, and uh, how can I help?